Look at this. I already have the key to this place. Who gives a damn? Oh, look. All these sacks are empty. That ain't good. Maybe those don't respawn. But this... Oh, ho, 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 this does. Look at this. A whole bunch of shit that I should probably take. Boom. And I totally can. Oh, look. Oh, some flour. I can munch on that. <laughs> this is totally my doing, huh? All right. <laughs>When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had entered the secret domain that was not quite so secret because it had a gigantic lighthouse beacon on top of it, but nonetheless it was the domain of Meridia, one of her many shrines and temples. But this one was defiled by some sort of sick, twisted, necromantic dude. Fortunately, the Dragonborn was able to dispatch him in no short order either. Then Meridia was quite pleased and awarded the Dragonborn an amazing weapon. The Dawnbreaker, yes. After retrieving that cool sword, did the Dragonborn travel up to Solitude, where they met with a whole bunch of people and vendors and merchants in the town, only to be finding out that indeed, everybody there had a little something going on. But nonetheless, it was time for another Daedric Prince to receive their, their, to, it was time for the Dragonborn to finish some stuff with another Daedric Prince, just as the case was with Meridia. Indeed, the Dragonborn was ready to make way for Clavicus Vile up in the mountains. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Let's go on up there, huh? Let's see. Let us bring up our map. Make sure we know exactly what the hell we're doing. Yeah, we're going to whoosh our ass from Whiterun through Riverwood all the way up here to Clavicus Vile's place, right? Shouldn't be too bad because we're going to take this horse. Where's our horse? We bought one. We somehow had a stolen one somehow. I don't know. They're all gone. Who knows where they're at? <laughs> but nonetheless, this one now, mine. Let's go on up here. Very good. Now, there was a dragon over here. Like I said, um, in between videos, I'd be doing a whole bunch of stuff and... <laughs> My goodness, did I do some stuff in between videos? Ooh, it was long and arduous, but nonetheless, the fruits of my labor will be revealed to you in due time. But, uh, yeah, I came over here and sold some stuff off at the, the fence dude. The creepy old dude. And guess what? There was a dragon, but it flew away. <laughs> So, I don't know, I guess we're due for one soon? Who can say? Nonetheless, here, let's take a quick peekaboo at all my equipment because I did do, although we look nearly identical, or exactly identical, we are not at all. In fact, we have taken perhaps our last and greatest leap of power. We'll probably have more, uh, more bits of power that come to our character that make us stronger, in battle, harder to kill, all that stuff. But this will be perhaps the last really gigantic one. Let's see. Our weapon. Finally, I have named an item. Vorin's Vengeance, right? I thought it was very good. I enjoyed the alliteration. I was very tempted to go with uh, Queen Barry's Revenge again, but I figured, hey, let, let's uh, let's turn it up, right? Let, let's, let's mix it up even, but nonetheless, as you can see, we did unlock our dual enchanting ability, which, holy shit, it really is amazing. And we've got this now pumped up in a major fucking way. You'll remember, our last axe last time was only like a hundred something damage. We have literally somehow managed to, maybe not entirely, but approximately doubled the damage per swing on this fucking shit, right? And not only that, but... Last time, or maybe not last time, but a, a while ago, gentle viewer King Zoe 22 wrote in and said that indeed the Rufal Axe ain't that great, but lest we forget, the absorb stamina effect can be quite good. However, this one doesn't have actually absorb stamina. We're thinking of Volendrung, right? <laughs> yeah, my bad. But Volendrung, which we brought up when we got it, has absorb stamina, which is quite nice. However, you don't need 
20, 30 points of absorbed stamina, you really only need one, don't you? So, we should have infinite stam usage abilities in combat, right? This is just the best shit we're ever gonna get, huh? This is probably it. This is probably gonna be the dope dick that we do seek. Nonetheless, who knows, how many creatures will even survive many attacks from this shit? Now, also, our actual uh, armor and necklace and ring as well, also all been upgraded. All of the armor ratings, a little bit higher, I believe, since last time, since our last bits. But that's not super duper important because, hey, we are we were already at the armor rating cap with our shield equipped. But the important thing here now is, as you can see, we've got conjuration spell cost reduction as well as destruction on our chest, on our boots, 50% more one-handed damage. Holy shit, that's wild as hell. And carry weight by 46%, that little, you know, <clears throat> double down on the double enchants. Ooh, my goodness, we read the book about it and we love it. The gauntlets, oh, similar fare here. Good lord, it's amazing. Jesus, just from our shoes and our hands, we do double damage with our bullshit. And last time, I don't even think we had extra damage on our, um, no, we did. We did have it on our armor. It was on our ring and necklace so we didn't have it but before we get over to that huh, take a look at this hat stacking once more with our chest piece we have 31 percent reduction cost reduction to conjuration and destruction for a total of 62 percent baby oh my god oh my lord we're going to be leveling up destruction that's why i put destruction on it's it's very it's very bad i think destruction is super duper weak like we went over there are just way more vectors for building your damage with uh, physical weapons, right? Because the really only good vector of increasing your damage with magic is weakness to whatever, which does apparently stack. It's just you can't walk around and begin combat with maximum efficiency, right? You have to build it up in combat, right? Which uh, it takes a little bit of work, but it, you can do it. You can do it. And you're a lot more reliant on... Uh, debuffing via poisons, right? Still, regardless of the fact, I would like to level up destruction, right? And ebony shield here as well. You'll notice magic resistance, 25%. My God, block 50%. I was debating putting fortify health on it, but I realized I may kill myself doing that, <laughs> right? The fortify health effect, if I, because I'm keen on um, making my offhand, my left hand, be what I use for spells, incantations, that sort of thing. You know, <laughs> you know how they say it. But uh, if I had fortify health on it, I may just accidentally end up killing myself in combat. So I was like, what else can I put on here? Uh, resist an element? Well, I don't really need it, as you'll see in a bit. Or, I guess, block 50% more? Uh, which also is something I don't terribly need at the moment, right? I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to put on shield. Maybe there's more shield enchants. I need to look them all up again. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, a ring here, 25 magic of resist, one-handed attacks, 50% more, and our current necklace, same exact thing. Holy shit. So, we're doing 200% more one-handed attack damage, thanks to our equipment, and we are at 75% total magic resistance, which is going to be actually at the cap of 85%, I believe, thanks to our talents in alteration, I think? Yeah, so we're capped out on resist, we're capped out on armor rating, I believe. Definitely with the shield equipped. I think even without the shield we might be capped, I'm not sure. But uh, if we aren't, it's a, it's a smidgen, it's a smidgen. Also, enchanted up some uh, work equipment, right? These uh, rings and all that stuff. Potions and weapon smithing stuff, 31% better. Did the same for a necklace. Got a shirt here that lets me improve weapons as well better. And yeah, this stolen hat. Similar situation with potions, right? I am, however, missing a... I wasn't keen on enchanting the gloves. I'm not even sure if I can. But uh, we'll probably do that at another point. Enchant up some gloves. And I think one other thing we could get smithing or... Alchemy on? Yeah, definitely alchemy on gloves, right? Yeah, I don't have alchemy gloves and all that stuff. However, 
Even more of note about all these cool enchants, you might be thinking, man, did Lyle do a bunch of daisy chaining with his potions and equipment? Here, we can keep moving while we're talking about this. No, I didn't, dear gentle viewer. In fact, I didn't make any custom like fortify smithing or I don't even know if that's in the game. But I definitely didn't make any fortify enchanting stuff. I just used enchanting elixirs, which give you like 25% more potency with your enchants, right? I just used all found items to get it all up to that point. Same goes for the smithing. And you know what? We were, to we were tossing around this idea not too long ago that maybe we'll do that, right? Maybe endlessly increasing the power of our equipment is just too damn good, right? So, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we we don't try and uh, go fucking buck wild with our equipment here. Look, are we even on Legendary? This is going to be another time where we have this question, right? Yeah, we are. We are on Legendary. Just making sure that I didn't, like, fuck something up in between vids. <laughs> but yeah, we probably don't even need to do this outrageous stuff, lest we're going to, like, have an ultimate super ultra dragon land before us and just swing my axe once and it falls over dead. Come on. <laughs> Do we really want that? I mean, already toward the end of Oblivion, it got kind of wild there, right? With our ability to um, just paralyze on touch and then just swing our weapon a shitload of times and knock him out. And we weren't even going maximum efficiency in Oblivion using a dagger for that, right? Higher swing speed. Whereas here, my god, <laughs> we're, we've really hit a threshold, right? The one, um, the one exception to this rule, I think, may be that when we want to get into Skyrim fashion, right? Once I find, like, my dream set of armor, and I want to fashion east of the shit out of it, perhaps I'll use the, um, enchanting exploit and all of that, the potion daisy chaining fun potion exploit thingamajig to make it to where my ideal set of armor is on par with like the best possible armor I could already wear right oh shit oh god there we are yep gotcha good <laughs> but yeah we might do that that way um I can still have it'll, it'll be essentially like like a transmutation, or no, transmogrification from other games, like a cosmetic slot, so we can wear what armor we want to look cool in, but we can have the stats of the armor that we actually do own, or even have the potential of owning, right? So I may do it for that, and then just not use that super-powered equipment for anything else? We'll see. Probably seems like a good idea to me, right? That seems like a good-ass plan. Let's see, let's continue going on up here toward Helgenland. But like I said, any more power we get will just be like inching us toward one direction or the other. The biggest thing that we have to look out for right now is Poisson. Poison of any sort is going to be incredibly deadly. Oh shit, who is this? Are you a hunter? I have no idea. I'm going to assume that you're a hunter and I don't want to lose my horse. Or do I? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh shit. She's about to shoot my horse's butt. Let's see, you are a hunter. Oh, sh why can't I pick your pock? Oh, because she's hunting a, a little dude over here, huh? Let's see, can we grab him? Oh shit, it's gone forever away. Let's get this horse back. Ooh. There we go. Okay, good lord. See, we may as well have picked into her pockets. Because we're about to become wanted again. Is this Barbus or her dog? Oh shit. Alright, she's out of combat. You know what? It's fine. Let's give it a shot. This is just normal dog. Okay. I've been hunting. Let's see, what have you got? <laughs> I love it every time. Alright, is there anything else I should try and take? Wildly, I guess because the horker meat is so heavy, it's difficult to take. Oh my god. Oh, we're we're playing some dangerous games out here, huh? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh my god. Yo, this is wild. My blood is like pumping right now. You oh! could have just asked. There we go. All right. I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> she doesn't care though. She's not willing to turn on us. All right. 
good. I love it. Maybe she sees my sweet double enchants and she's like, oh my gosh, these clothes suit you well, Outlander, and she will not want to fuck with me. Good lord, look at this. I got the secret double enchants. I had to learn to become ambidextrous just to apply the enchants to it. Ho 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 ho. Oh, I love it. All right, let's go on up here. Good, good, good. And I'm thinking, part of me was wondering, maybe I could, um, I could potentially use the weird enchanting, uh, exploit to get, like, a shitload of carry weight or something and just hold off on offensive stuff. That way I'm not one-shotting dudes left and right, even more beyond what is normally possible. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to have defenses and stuff weighed that heavily toward me. Because I do think I'm of the the school of thought that there is some fun and joy to be found in encumbrance via um, sort of inventory management and all that. I think there it forces you to make some interesting choices when you're out in the field, right? So maybe we don't want to go too overboard with that, right? I'm thinking maybe that's the case. Let's see, are we going the correct direction? I think so. All right, let's head on up over here. Good, good, good. Do we think the vampires inside of this den of iniquity have respawned? Shit, I hope not. Maybe old Clavicus Vile just loves having, like, vamp parties over and all that stuff. What a wild dude. Okay. You know what? In thinking about it, you would think, hey, maybe Clavicus Vile would be down with some vampirism or whatever, right? How often in fiction? Oh, shit. What's this? But how often in fiction... Oh, these are... This is the Stormcloak camp. Okay. But how often in fiction is, like, getting vampirism or lycanthropy referred to as, like, some sort of dark deal or a dark bargain, right? You can see it. There's room to... For Clavy V to have been the Daedric Prince most associated with vampirism. But such is not the case. They went more for, like, oh, this, this is just evil. <laughs> this is just evil and people who are of this nature that are good must constantly wrestle with that side of themselves which you know what hey that's a common trope in vampire anything right all right hey Marsh shame can i just run this whole horse up in here no i can't dismount horse before going through door what if i just oh god okay <laughs> there we are all right see ya friend oh look there's another horse down here is this prior mabel no fucking way! Is this Prior Mabel? No, this is some random ass horse. There's some dude out here though. Did you hear that? Oh look! Oh, is there another hunter that I can steal shit from? <laughs> I bet it is. Okay. It is! Cool! Alright, what have you got? Ooh, he's a lot more perceptive. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see, let's go on up over here. And... I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, he can definitely see me. Okay. <laughs> hmm, let's just equip our pickpocketing shit real fast. Let's see here. Good lord. One of the issues as well with doing these enchants with the uh, pre-made potions is that they only have a 60 second duration. So, I was thinking like, oh yeah, I'll think of names for all this shit. Why not? No siree. In fact... <laughs> I ran out of time. I was like, oh shit, I, I just need to fucking go fast as hell here. There we go. Look at this. We're getting the goodies now. Get some picks. Oh gosh. My butt clenches up every time. Mmm. <laughs> okay. What should we go for? Leg of goat? Venison? Let's go for the horker meat. My god. How have we not dinged in... What do you call it yet? Wow, we could just take everything from this man. Should I take the bear pelt? Look at my carry weight. 402 is our baseline. Holy shit. You could have just right. asked. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're fine. Now let's re-equip our shit here. Let's see. Here we are. And is this it? It's just a silver necklace? No, it's like a, it has an emerald in it. Yeah, there we go. Good. I think I made sure, at the very least, both of my uh, good combat bits of jewelry are emerald, or be emerald. Alright, 
Let's do a quick save here just in case. And let's see. Should we eat up a bit? I think so. I got some cooked beef. Good. Satisfied. Love it. All right. Have they returned? I don't think anyone has respawned and returned. I think we're all in the clear. But we'll keep our weapon drawn just in case, I guess. All right. Oh, you know what? I can hold a torch now if I want to. Though, I guess I don't really want to at all. <laughs> what a waste, right? Holding torches? That's so a million levels ago. All right. Let's go on down here. You know, thanks to being on legendary difficulty and all that stuff, our level is actually, and like our equipment level, our, <laughs> I guess our, our, our item score, so to speak, is reflective of how much time we've spent in the game world, right? Definitely not our quest progress, right? Because we're, we're just walking around everywhere. Okay. Let's see. Do I even remember how to get to the shrine? Dude, I don't know if I do. <laughs> All right, bandit. No, nah, nothing. Yeah, we already looked through all that. Sure do get a great view as you're going through there, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, here, this is it, huh? Hey, Mars Shame. Good. I think that was just Ilya drawing her pickaxe. Okay. Anything? Spider Lords have returned. No, I don't think so. Okay. We are warming up in this deeper section. Good. Okay. And that should be right over through this area? No. Right over here, after this. Right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Good. Let's do a quick save. And... Hey, what's up? I got the fucking axe! Ah, you've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! We're back. Now, fulfill your end of the bargain. I don't even remember what I asked for. Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. <laughs> Simple as that. Why do you want to kill Barbus? I sure would like to keep this axe. No deal. Take the axe and take back Barbus. Is the idea that <laughs> that we it's not because we like Barbus that we don't want him to kill Barbus. It's because we hate Barbus. Well, no, because we would kill Barbus anyway. Yeah. No, take the axe and take back Barbus. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. Damn, Barbara's you got big. You how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. I hate Have this my guy. Bone and be done with it. <laughs> more interesting deals to make anyway. Fuck you, Clavicus Vile. Look, you gave me your mask and you're still holding it. What's even up with that? Clavicus, Clavicus Vile is probably like... 
my least favorite of them. I don't know. <laughs> Especially in this, in Skyrim, right? The only good part of Clavicus Vile is his fucking dog, and he wants you to kill his fucking dog, right? What the hell? Why couldn't Barbus be huge like this when we were walking around, right? Shit, I would have never got rid of Barbus if he were this fucking big. <laughs> good God. Do you think Clavicus Vile is just, like, really tiny or something? What's going on with that? Like, he would be even smaller than, like, a child, right? He'd probably be, like, the size of a, a Bosmer child or something, huh? I don't even know. How bizarre. Alright. Let's see, what does this silly hat even do for us? Let's see here. Prices are 20% better. Increases speech skill by 10. Magicka regens 5% faster. Neat, I guess. Right, we can still use it for the prices in town. Not that we're really super duper hurting for money, but it could come in handy, right? We still got plenty of more money to spend. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? I did not rebind my new shield. There we are. Cool. All right, let's see now. Now, what do we need to do? We need to fuck off to Enthir's area. How the hell do I do that? <laughs> Where the hell is Enthir at? All the way up top, right? At Winterhold? Oh, good God. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to go back to... Yeah, we would have to go back to Whiterun. Oh, shit. But we, since we're in this area, we could hit up this, like, vampire fort or whatever, right? Bloodlet Throne? Or Fort Newgrod? Let's see. What did the people of Falkreath want? Let's see, Trader's Post. Hmm. Strange Vagrant. The Ledger in Windhelm. Deliver the amulet to Onmund. Okay. Meet Delphine in Riverwood. Some stolen books. Read the Notice of Sale. Hmm. I guess it must have been miscellaneous? Let's see. Speechy sold about some shit. Oh, you know what? We can hit up Ember Shard Mine on our way back, I guess. Destroy the vampire Vigar. Let's see, where are you at, Vigar? Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Here. We have to retrack this. Good. And then bring this up. Oh, man, you're at this one. Well, that's a little farther out of the way. You know what? We'll just go to Ember Shard Mine. <laughs> Fuck that. All right. Because it'd be quicker if we just went over to Falkreath and then traveled over to this ship, right? I think so. Like, it looks like you go up this way, right? Sort of in a boot shape. An upside down L. Okay. Let's go on down here. Hey, is that horse still around? That would be great. That hunter and their horse. Let's take a quick peek over here before I freeze my butt off. No, I don't see him. All right, it's getting pretty fucking chilly. Let's hurry. We can make a pit stop at the Stormcloak camp and get our shit up, right? Let's see, stow our weapon here. Wow, I feel like it made me go slower when I stowed my weapon. Am I like tripping balls? Oh shit! <gasps> Oh my god! Hashtag blast! Alright. Here we go. We're detected by someone, but I don't give a shit. Alright. Let's go, Prior Mabel. Oh fuck. Oh, there he is. Yo, oh, there's the hunter. <laughs> Whoops! See ya, dude! I'm getting the hell out of here! Alright, maybe we shouldn't hit up the Stormcloak camp with this guy hot on our heels. And we don't really need to now that we got the horse, right? Okay. Yeah, I think doing this at Ember Shard Mine, was this the one that will get us the Falkreath house? Or am I mistaken? I might be mistaken on that one. Alright. Let's see. Should be right up over here. Yeah. We should probably stop tracking the Bloodlet Throne one, right? Since we're just not going to do that yet. Next time we're in Falkreath, we'll do it. Right. Vampires should be no problem now, right? Now that we've got our super dope bullshit. Good lord, that was a woodpecker. Did you hear that woodpecker? 
Good lord. It gave me, like, flashbacks to skeletons in oblivion. You know? That's what they sound like. They sound like woodpeckers now that I think of it. All through oblivion, I was, I was always commenting on the fucking skeleton noises. And they're, like, weird croaking and clacking and stuff. Oh, shit. What's that? There's something in there? Yo, there's a horse in there. Oh, shit! That's my other stolen horse! Oh, man, look, it's corralled up in there now. You know what? Hey, that's good. We'll leave it there. Will it stay there forever? Probably not. It'll probably despawn at some point, but... Good God. Useful, nonetheless. Just in case. Alright. Let's head on down over this way. Jeez, how do people even play this game with horses in mind? I guess maybe the only way to do it is by fast traveling. But our horse doesn't seem to want to appear every time we do it. Oh, shit! Oh, it's the Talmor! Oh! Hey! <laughs> hey, let me go! Let me go! Oh! Shit! All right, all right. I'm getting off the horse. I'm getting off the horse. Oh! All right. You fucks. Look at that. Yeah, I've got some power now, don't I? Okay. Let's see. Let's get... Good. Jeez. My god, I like obliterate them, huh? Holy shit. I'm the destroyer of worlds. <laughs> all right. Let's take all their shit. Good. Because I can hold it as well. Good, good, good. And you know what? Should we do like a wizard's battle? Check this shit out. All right. Where's my lightning bolt? There it is. Oh, you better run. I'm the power wizard, dude. Yeah! Yeah! You're weak to magic. Yeah! Wait, are they weak to magic in this one still? They are, aren't they? Oh, shit. I'm all out of juice. All right. Let's see. Uh, boom! I don't even need the speed! Whew! Shit, we didn't even need Dre for that. Ooh, their execution order. Who oh, for me? Oh my god, it is! Still that way. Let's take their stuff. We can take their gloves and enchant them, actually. I am in need of a glove for the purposes of enchanting. Alright. See, it probably would have been smartest to have restoration be my healing stuff, but yeah. Good lord. And here, you know what? I was kind of looking forward to the idea of, you know, stacking extra layers of damage. Oh, fuck. Damn, Dre. <laughs> stacking more layers of damage via... Oh, shit. We're passing it up, aren't we? Yeah. Via the... What do you call it? The point blank damage over time from, like, blizzard or fiery, fiery air or, or, <laughs> or lightning storm, whatever it's called. It's probably just all storms, right? Firestorm, lightning storm, or thunderstorm. Maybe thunderstorm? I don't know. Because, I mean, technically, thunderstorm would just be noise, right? If we want to get really, uh, pedantic about it. Let's do a quick save because we are about to fall off. All right, over here. Here we go. All the way back to the very first dungeon we ever had to do. Let's turn on Become Ethereal as well. Here we are. Fine! Ooh! Whoa! Ah! There we you go. Picked a bad time to Whoop. get lost, friend. I'm invincible! You can't even hit me! I'm a ghost! Woo! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Jeez, the new power is uh, still taking me by surprise. Man, we are ripping ass, huh? Ember Shard Mine, let's just go in through here and rip some major ass. Right? Look, remember the first time we came here? We were, like, scared as hell. We had to be really careful and shit. Fuck that. I'm ready to destroy. I'm the destroyer of worlds. I'm ready to, like, tear some asses apart. Oof. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I think that'll still kill you. <laughs> All right, let's see. What can we even do in here? We could do some lightning bolt while we're moving. I'm moving. I'm grooving. Man, I one-shot him, huh? Or at least almost. Here, let's eat, because you know what? Although we don't need the speed, it's super-duper unsatisfying to go so slow. <laughs> Boom! Yo, y'all are just basic-ass bandits. 
Jeez, and this is without any, like, wild-ass investment in, like, custom potions and shit, right? This is all with just found shit that we found in the world. My god. Alright. Hey, look at this. Could use this. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go left-handed on this. Boom. Look at that. Cool. Got all that. And... Yeah, that's connected. Okay. Hey, you know what's good about this place? Everything has returned, right? I think all of the woot loot has probably respawned as well. Also really nice. Okay. Anything else around here? You know, if we wanted to be really encumbrance efficient, wouldn't we just, like, get a super duper pickaxe or woodcutter's axe and just walk around using that? <laughs> My god. <laughs> but no. No, we can't do that because, of course, we're entering, like, the end game phase of, uh, of Skyrim land as far as equipment is concerned. And we have to instead aim for fashion, right? We need to be fashionable at all costs now. Is someone there? Fashion, no matter how much money it costs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god, we are outrageously powerful, dude! Look at this, I already have the key to this place? Who gives a damn? Oh look, all these sacks are empty. That ain't good, maybe those don't respawn. But this, oh, this does. Look at this. A whole bunch of shit that I should probably take. Boom. And I totally can. Oh, look. Oh, some flour. I can munch on that. Yeah, this is totally... <laughs> this is totally my doing, huh? Alright. <laughs> Good lord, for a split second, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just a barrel full of, like, 500 different baskets and shit. Oh, jeez. All right, let's go up here. You know, if anything, maybe I should just throw the key away to Ember Shard Mine, right? That way we can get some picking XP. Yeah. All right, let's go over here. On our way out, we'll do a quick rest. Look, I can even kill you with the pickaxe. Thanks to all my buffed up damage. Jeez, are these just basic ass bandits as well? They're not even like bandit marauders. What's up with that? Weren't they supposed to spawn in, like, at least a little bit more powerful? Because we picked up this quest when we were in Falkreath, right? We weren't, um, that low of a level. Let's see, is there anything good over and around here? Hmm. Nah, nothing. Okay, let's go on up top. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh, up this way. We have to go around the scaffolding here. Oh, no! What? There you go. <laughs> oh, you were the bandit leader. Okay, sure. Great. Okay, you know what? It's time for some lightning bolts. Pew! Pew! I missed that one. Oh, shit! Did I kill her with lightning? No. Just for whatever reason, it gave me a cinematic cam. I guess it just does that sometimes with ranged attacks. I can't remember. It's been so long since I did wizard stuff. No. <laughs> I love it. I love wizard shit. Wow. All right. Take some of this shit. Potato, bread, wine. We'll take some meat. That's useful. Because we are kind of running low on salmon. I mean, I say we're running low. <laughs> We've got like 40-something units of it, so... Not that low. Okay, a shovel here. I'm surprised you can't use a shovel as like some sort of fun tool or whatever, right? I think that's all of them, right? That's all the dudes? Let's see, where's my pickaxe at? Oh shit, did I unbind it? Hmm. Yeah, I must have done. Oh, that's because it's one that we picked up. Gotcha. Yeah, we can probably just hold on to that shit ourselves now. There we are. Because our encumbrance is just so fucking wild. Good lord. We could even go and pick up, um... A different stone. Do we even need the steed? Well, 
It's nice because our armor is still heavy as sin, right? Okay. Let's see. Bring this up. Alright, let's go over to Riverwood. Yeah, once we get the heavy armor perk that lets us have roughly the same effect as the as the steed, then I think we'll be good, right? Okay. I mean, we could still make do, but man, I love the extra carry weight. I fucking love it. And then we could also pick up the pickpocketing one for more, right? Oh shit, I forgot to take a snooze in there. Oh shit, hang on, let me go back in. Oh god, is that still accessible? <laughs> shit, that's a free room! That's a free room and board! Sleeping in those bags! Wait, take me back! Oh god, where is it? Is this it right here? Oh, this is it. Alright, there we go. The unmarked exit. Okay. Let's see. Where is... One of these sleepy time zones? Oh, right down here, right? Right by the smith? Hmm. Right? Oh, there's some ingots. I'll take them. Some ore? Okay. Yeah, weird. I guess I'm just dumb. Okay. Oh, uh, here it is. Okay. Now, let's go for eight hours. We'll probably get a dragon, right? Oh man, part of me wants to fight a dragon with all this shit. And you know what? We haven't even popped a found potion, a found warrior potion or whatever. We could get 50% more power, right? And I'm assuming this is additive, right? The way it mathed out, it looked definitely additive and not multiplicative, right? Which, I mean, hey, <laughs> sure, it would be better if it were multiplicative, but we don't need that. We're going around fucking people up, no problemo. Shit. Good lord, this is just like... For real, we were talking about Oblivion earlier. In the Oblivion playthrough, when we finally got Queen Barry's Revenge. Like, damn, dude. Alright. Over here, and we can even do better, right? We can get a, like, a Daedric weapon or a fun weapon or whatever the fuck like that, right? But you know what? Maybe we won't. If anything, maybe we'll regress our weapon, right? Maybe we could do that. Hey, who's this weird, scary dude out here? Oh shit, it's fucking Feindall! You want to talk to me? After everything you've done? Is this where you come out and do your, like, hunting or fletching work? Greetings, Brother Elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Hey, can you train me in archery? I'll show you what I know. Oh, I'll, oh, thank you. You know what? We could go back and learn light armor from what's her in Riften. But I don't know when the next time we'll be there is, right? So let's just buy five of these. Thanks! Mm -hmm. Until next time. Eat a butt, Feindall. See ya. All right. Let's go on over here. Oh, look at this. Peaceful Riften. Ride in the early morning hours just as the sun is coming up. Look. Oh, you still get, like, a sort of well-lit sky. Just a bit of it. But also, the lighting from, like, the forge and the windows. All nice and golden looking. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's go on over here. Good lord. Our horse is gone. Oh shit, there is some bee stuff. Oh, I need the bee stuff, baby. I had no idea this was here. Underneath this, um... What would you call this? This lookout wall? I don't know. Gate? Yeah, probably gate. That's what you would call it. Okay. Oh. Gordon has found a common soul gem. Oh, thank you, Gordon. I'm going to eat these apples here. They've satisfied my hunger. Okay. There we are. <laughs> I wonder, who do you think wins in an eating competition? Fucking, uh... The Dragonborn? Or Link? From Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, Link. I don't know, they both... They both just fucking chow the fuck down on shit, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Of all uh, role-playing game heroes, right? Good God. What's, uh, what's going up over here, huh? There we are. You know what? We can also equip... Hmm. Our speedy time, right? Get a little speed going on. Good. Alright. 
So now we've got this cool quest that we can turn in the next time we hit up, uh, oh shit. Okay. There we go. Oh. Sorry, pal. I'll take the pelt. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, where does this road even go? Oh, this goes up to the, uh, the barrow, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. Sure. Let's see. I think we also have some shit to do at R White River Watch. Don't we? Right over here. Don't we have, like, a miscellaneous quest? We could hit that up real quick just as well. Look at this. We're getting some miscellaneous complete. Like, it was one of the very first and early ones, right? Hmm. What would it even be? Talk to Aventus Aretino. The spoon. Yeah, what do we have that's inside of that area? Search camp. Shadow green. Steam crag. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe it's just nondescript? Huh. Weird. Okay. Sure. But, you know what? Let's go up to... Snowy Lands, right? Let's go check in on Enthir. Let's get that accomplished. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Fuck. I can't believe how old this game is, but it still looks great, baby! Oh my gosh! I don't even have any mods for this! Jeez! I mean, I like... Like, mods for this scene right here, that we would be taking effect. <laughs> I do have mods installed, just not, uh, not ones that would make this look any better or worse. Right. Granted, it is the special edition, right? Built off of the back of, uh, the progress made with Fallout 4. Or vice versa, actually, right? It's the other way around. Fallout 4 was built off of the back of the progress made with special edition, right? I believe that's correct. Okay. Let's go on up over here. Good, good, good. All right. And then we just need to take a carriage ride up here to Winterhold, right? Yeah, let's do that. All you right. Need a ride? Bjorlem. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I would love that. Please take me to, to Winterhold, baby. Let's see. Winterhold, Climb 50 and, and we'll be off. Good. Oh, steady. All right. See you over there, Ilya. She'll just mount a broom and fly away. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, you know what? We don't have Barbus anymore. That's what we've been missing. He's incessant barking, right? Oh, shit. Hey, this is my other horse. This is Prior Mabel Unprime. Okay. Well, let's go on up in here. We can chow down on some boo -boo 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 -boo. cooked beef. There we go. Satisfied. Beautiful. Enthir, guess what? I've traveled all the way across the world and I've retrieved this cool thing. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Where are you, Enthir? You're down in your weird the mages wizard's don't let coven, us go huh? Call it. They said it's not safe in there. All right. Down here. Frozen hearth cellar. Good, good, good. Oh, shit. Hey, look who it is! Hey, Ilya, do you remember her? Yeah, that's right. That's Carlia. Fuck. <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> Can I take this? Yeah, there we go. Gosh, it is wild. <laughs> this playthrough is gonna go on for fucking ever. <laughs> and I love it! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? Uh... I stole some shit from him. <laughs> and there, there something look else? at this. This should help translate Gallus's journal. Oh, we can ask all this. Let's ask all this, right? What exactly is a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So they were like your kind. Oh, we asked him this, didn't we? And we even commented on this. Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. What drove them the underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended right, up betraying right, right. them. 
This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Geez, at this quest stage, they sure do want you to get a lot of information about the Falmer, don't they? Weird. They sound more like victims to me. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. All right, then. Whoa, hang on. Check it out. I got the journal. All right. This should help translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. All right. Honestly, in our case, even more so, right? <laughs> we got chased by Tyranus all the way across the world. Ooh. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. Oh, no. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. What? Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. <gasps> Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, Shores I'm blood. familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? <laughs> what, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Geez, she's like about to cry. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I have this back, Anther? I'm like the Dragonborn. This could come in handy. I, I do a bunch of shit. Listen, all oh. I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. Mm -hmm. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Anther. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Hey, and if you need a favor, you can also find me at the college. One day, I might just be Archmage. Wink! <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else we should ask? What can you tell me about Gallus? And I think we already asked all this, right? For whatever reason, it got refreshed. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. Mm -hmm. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Okay. Hey, Gallus's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre? You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. <gasps> it's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples. It just doesn't add up. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Why would thieves not be religious, right? Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> Why, like... I don't know. Why are the two mutually exclusive? I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time, you'll understand what I mean. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. We're just, like, fucking dumb as shit, right? We don't know that there's, I guess, like, patron demons and stuff of different, like, various arts and all that. Because if you know, like, the basic, most basic-ass shit about Nocturnal... You would know that this this actually does add up a lot. This really makes a lot of sense. 
<laughs> if anything, maybe more weird would be like, oh, you all made a pact with Lord Dagon? I thought you guys didn't even kill anybody. <laughs> what would <laughs> what would you all be doing with that? <laughs> all right. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. I'm stupid. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulcher. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Okay, I mean, I don't really have much of a choice because the other guy, like, tried to kill me. <laughs> and also, you did save my life. <laughs> Very well, we do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Merce is up to. We're so fussy when about ready, it. Meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Oh my gosh. Carlia, you're making me blush. I'll put it to good use. If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Oh, a nightingale blade. Oh my god. Alright. Meet Carlia at the Ragged Flagon. Let's see here. What does this thing even do? Oh, it looks cool is what it does. Right? Oh shit, I forgot. The Nightingale Blade is actually fucking legit. Yeah, and the whole like... Yeah. Eventually, like the Nightingale stuff, you eventually get some Nightingale armor. Yeah, I forgot. That shit is actually really good. And so, too, is the weapon, right? Jeez! Yeah. Absorb health and stam? Whew! Hachi machi. Alright. Can I take this back? Anther, you should take this to the college with you! I killed a lot of people to get this! <laughs> Don't tell Carlia! Don't tell the kid over there going to sleep! I killed people to get that charcoal rubbing. I murdered them indirectly. <laughs> All right, let's steal this money, I guess. You know what? That'll make me feel better. Good. Okay. <laughs> Wild that this kid just came down here to start snoozing as we were discussing some weird fucked up shit. <laughs> All right. That's just some Skyrim ass shit, huh? Okay, anything else around here? Let's see. This barkeep's clothes? Yeah. Okay. Well, shit. Let's get on over to... Hmm. I guess we should go over to... Oh, fuck. Yeah, but how do we do that? How do we get over to... Be careful. <laughs> yeah, we're in Winterhold, aren't we? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Sure, we got like I'll a horse situation here, don't we? To eat. Here, we should get I'd a room. Just about anything if it's worth my time. Okay. Keep that here we go. There's anything you need. Just let me know. Yeah, I'd like to rent sure a room. Thing. It's yours there for a go. day. We'll go a little bit extra long. I'll show you we'll to we'll uh right we'll mount way. up for my days at the for Windhelm, and me, then we'll we'll call it there. By. Probably no reading this time because we are going a little extra long. All right, thanks for the room, dude. Let's go for ten hours. There we go. Should be about six a.m. Right. I fucking hope so. <laughs> it's gonna be real embarrassing if it's not. <laughs> oh, I still can't do math. Oh, 6.43 a.m. <laughs> I can't believe the college accepted me. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Here we are. I do what's right. necessary so we can get by. Yo, is this dragon about to show up or what? my brother for anything. Okay. Yeah, your brother is pretty bad. I hate him. I don't even know who he is, but you've convinced me. I, I hate that man. Let's see. If you're looking yeah, for Rand, our horse has out in bed. fucking disappeared. Okay, we just gotta run, I guess. Then, right? Do we have our whirlwind sprint at the ready? We sure do. Okay. Boom. Good. Good lord. We run this way all the damn time, don't we? Okay. Let's go on up over here. Oh, shit! You know who lives out this fucking way? That we need to get some fucking sweet revenge on? Who always, like, gave us some real fucking hassle? Ooh! There we go. Alright, see, this is... this is doable. Boom! Ooh, I put my hand in your mouth. Alright. Let's take all that. That was a fancy bear. Had a ruby. But... 
the wizard lords of these parts. We should do a showdown with these wizard lords real quick. That's exactly it. There we go. Take care of this goat friend. Sorry, goat friend. Boom. Take your shit. Let's see. Let's also eat up some cooked beef. Good. You know what? We should have crafted up some of the weird garbage that we had, huh? Oh, who is this? Old Orc! Damn, this dude's killing saber cats left and right. What a wild ass dude. Old Orc, who are you? Not so fast. Oh shit. Jeez, careful, Lilia. Oh well, must have run off. Uh, we killed it. I am waiting for a good death. Jeez, another old orc who wants me to kill him? A good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and Okay, die, dude, I've heard all this. Why do you wish to die? My t Malik, okay. as you can okay. see, it is not uh, yet. Here, I'll kill you. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I, I've killed <laughs> another. Weird. You wouldn't believe this, old orc. But actually, you're not the first old orc who has wanted me to kill them. I know. Weird, right? And you probably won't be the last. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I will give you a good death. Mm, we shall see. All right. Let's see. Hey, but first, check this shit out. Oh, Boom! <laughs> Look at him go. All right. Should we level up a little bit of uh, <laughs> lightning on him? Why not? Oh, they're like super resilient to it as well, aren't they? Orcs. All right, good. Got him. <laughs> good job, Ilya. Let's see over here. What have you got on you? Anything good? Cool. Yo, that guy was watching. <laughs> that goat was watching. Was that the goat that we soul trapped? No, we actually did manage to kill the the soul stolen goat. All right. Let's see, let's hurry along over here to the wizard zone before we freeze our butt off. Good, good, good. Oh shit. You know what? Maybe we need to take a pit stop at the mines. Okay, because I didn't account for the orc, all right? I didn't account for a lot of things. You know what? I didn't account for fucking anything. Oh shit. Let's go over here. Can I take some iron ore? Oh yes, please. Oh, I love that. Okay, what's in these? Anything good? No. Alright, Nightshade. Whistling Mine. We've been in here before. It's whistling because there's people inside of it who whistle. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Oh, nice and warm. Oh, and look, we can do a little bit of cooking. Alright! Hey, shit! This seems like a good place to fucking call it, right? Right here in the middle of the road at the Whistling Mine. Love the Whistling Mine. I'm gonna warm up, cook some food. All that good stuff. Like I said, still, we uh, we went a little bit over. <laughs> we'll we'll push off the reading until next time. But uh, when next we come back, holy shit, we are going to seek vengeance on those fucking wizards. And then we're going to Windhelm. And then, oh shit, we have like a quest out by Windhelm, don't we? Yeah, the trader's post. We should do that while we're in the area. And then we can, uh, don't we have something else in Windhelm as well? Yeah, Thieves Guild thing, right? I have a... Oh shit, that was in Markarth. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we should have done that while we were there. But this numbers job. Yeah, the Windhelm Stables. We'll do that. Okay, cool. And then over here, we can also get the Trader's Post situation. Where is that? Oh no, that one is like a proper quest, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So when next we come back, we're going to destroy a bunch of wizards who have been accosting us for so long, get our revenge, and then we will go over to Windhelm and do a whole bunch of shit. And then we'll go to Riften to the Ragged Flag and then meet up with Carlia. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get out here, Carlia, but however you do it, it's a lot faster than what I do. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>